Hi Virgo, welcome to your May general reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you new or returning, welcome and thank you. So we are going to take a look at the energies around you this time. So we're going to take whatever comes out here, whatever messages need to come out. It could be love, career, finance, work. I mean, whatever comes out, comes out. So this is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female. It could also be past, present, or future energies. Please keep that in mind. So please only take it how it resonates for you. If it's not resonating for you, then it's probably not your story. Please don't try to make it fit. So let's see what we have here for Virgo. In Virgo, you can um, check the description box below. Tons of information down there. Uh, this is a general collective reading, not a private reading. But if you like a personal private reading, that info is below as well as a ton of other things. So uh, please check that out. I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe, healthy at this time. If you're new, welcome, and thank you so much for stopping by. And you can check out my channel, like what you see. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Uh, hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get about four or five readings a month. If you do, thank you so much. So Virgo, if you're new, if you're returning, um, you know how this works. If you're new, this is Zodiac Oracle, and I always pull one of these so we could get a sign, element, or planet. We'll see how that plays into your reading. If you don't resonate with this part, totally fine. Doesn't mean the reading's not for you. And then with this deck here, we will get your uh, opening message, and then we'll get your energy, another one for your energy. We'll clarify that energy with the tarot, and then look at your actual situation, whatever comes out here. Advice, guidance, possible outcome. And then I go over the bottoms of the decks also, and then we'll get some extra messages at the end with that Oracle deck. The decks are listed below also if you're interested in that. All right, Virgo. What do we have for Virgo? Sun, uh, sun. Yeah, well, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, but sign, element, or planet. So we have Libra. So you could be dealing with the Libra, have Libra in your chart, or know someone has Libra in their chart. Uh, Libra does represent justice in the major arcana. And it could talk about legal situations. It could talk about uh, legal advice, legal guidance, something in the legal field, um, something with the law or uh, contracts, paperwork. It could also be about getting justice, serving justice, clarity, balance. So in seven here, uh, and I just noticed Virgo, you're six, Libra's seven. So we got six, seven, which is a progression. So something could be progressing for you. Um, and then I just was told to add that together, seven and six is 13, which is four, which is about stability. So whatever's progressing here could lead to something uh, becoming stable or stable for you in some way, shape or form. But seven is also an energy of divinely guided spiritual energy. So we'll see how that plays out for you. And I'm getting like this light energy of something maybe being enlightened or enlightened to you or being enlightened about a situation which may uh, provide justice in a situation. I don't know, we'll see. That may, may be just an opening message for someone. But let's see what plays out here for you, Virgo. So let's get your opening message. What is Virgo's opening message, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Virgo General Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Jupiter. And the General Collective, male or female watching. What is Virgo's opening message? message for Virgo spirit please all right this one so we have the elephant here which is 11 and 11 is about being on the right path we do have Ganesha I believe that's Ganesha so this is about protection this is about family elephants are very wise it's family it's protection so something could be something dealing with your family or, uh, you know, group of people or person or something that's like family, if it's not blood family, but also about protection. So maybe needing to protect something or somebody protecting you or just, just no spirit wants you to know you are protected during this time. And wisdom. So either seeking wisdom, as with that Libra, could be, you know, legal counsel, advice, gaining wisdom, uh, getting wisdom, gaining wisdom being all the wiser for a situation also. So I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything with the elephant here. I just want to take a quick peek into the book here because I don't use these cards uh, that often. So um, let me see here. That is earth energy. So let's see what the elephant has to say. Memory, removing obstacles and intelligence. 
So somebody may remember something here that may, may shed uh, clarity and enlightenment on a situation here and may remove an obstacle. And the intelligence there, again, could be legal advice, counsel, um, or something like that. So we'll see how this plays into your reading. So let's see here. For, and you can apply this to any situation you feel it fits into your life. So take it, take it how it resonates for you. Not every single message in here may be for you. So please keep that in mind. So let's get one for the energy of Libra. Libra. Yeah, some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Virgo. I'm sorry. Virgo. Virgo, please. General Collective. Someone rising Venus, Jupiter, male or female. Let's take that one. So we have the B here. So we have 32, which is five, which is about challenge and change. But the B here is a good energy. It's about working together, building something. You know, I, again, I'm probably about what family energy, friends, family. So let's see, that's number industry, cooperation, and working collectively. So it could be, um, you know, work family. This could have to do around work family, career. So we do have here a cat, which is two, earth energy, which is about partnerships and unities. So the cat here. So let me just look up the keywords for that. You know, key, cats can be, you know, aloof and independent. Fertility, beauty, magic, independence. So... You may be working, um, you may be in a, in a situation now where you're working collectively with others, but you're wanting to go independently. That's kind of what I'm getting. And maybe you need like legal advice, counsel or something, maybe to detach from something. Because, you know, the cats are very aloof, like I said, independent on their own. It's like their own, their, their own boss. They live in their own world. You know, they're like who they are. They don't really care about anything else. So, but this B is, you know, about industry, community, um, working together collectively. So let's see how this plays out for you, Virgo. So if you're working, you know, with others or in a situation where, you know, I want to go off on my own and maybe you're legally bound because that could be that contracts, you know, with the Libra justice energy it could be maybe you're legally obligated through contracts to stay where you are but you want to be go become independent because the two there you know partnerships so let's see let's see let's see what's going on for you virgo if it's not work career or finance where you know you're trying to become independent it could be any situation where you know you're around others with others living with whatever your situation is here and I, you may be trying to become independent in some way. All right, so let's see for Virgo, what's going on here. So we got the Six of Stones. So work, career, finance, but it's all about balance, getting balance. And this is the minor of justice. So, wow, coming into play here. So we got the Four of Wands. So it could be, you know, something with your home, family, again, with the elephant family. Your stability, something in your home life. Now we have this King of Scrolls, which is the King of uh, Swords, which is air energy, which is Gemini. Again, that could be that air energy. They could be somebody um, legal, legal advice, a counselor, even a lawyer, or something like that, or someone reviewing contracts for you, paperwork in some way, shape, or form. So that's Gemini energy. And now we have the Hermit, which is Virgo. So that's your energy. So this is about, you know, going in and thinking about this deeply, deciding what you need to do, what you want to do, finding your way, your path, your light, you know, thinking deeply about something here. And the hermit is about withdrawing and going on your own. So <laughs> thinking deeply here about going off on your own um, energy here. Ten of mirrors. Yeah, no longer happy. Wherever you are now, it's no longer fulfilling for you. You're no longer happy there. You're wanting to leave some sort of um, nest <laughs> and go off on your own. Whether, you know, in the nest, we have the home here and the nest here. So if it's a home situation 
or like your work family situation. Maybe, you know, if you're in partnerships and business and you're like, you know, I want to go off and have my own, like, you know, maybe you're in a corporation of lawyers or some sort of corporation, but you're like, you know, I just want to go and work on for myself, have my own space, be my own boss and just be me. Some of you in a home environment want to leave, like leave the nest. <laughs> so you could be, you know, just wanting to move off on your own, uh, but no longer happy or fulfilling uh, wherever you're at. So however that resonates for you. I mean, for some, this could be a divorce for some are just, you know, if you're living with others and you're like, you know, they're my friends or they're my family, but you know, I just need to go off and I want to be on my own and independent, you know, so however that resonates for you. So I feel like in a strong energy here of becoming independent, the lovers. So this is about making a choice. Um, you could be no longer happy with a lover. Again, that's what the 10 of mirrors in reverse wanting to you know if you're just living with them maybe you, you know you want to leave or again this could be divorce but this is about making a choice that's right for you with the lover's energy we have gemini again so we got two cards of gemini now so i feel like here wherever you are whatever you're doing whether you're living with people or you're living with a lover or you're married or you're in a corporation or in a business where you're bound to by contract or something it's like you're looking for a loophole to get out so you can go off on your own for some you know you could be getting divorced or just telling your lover you know i'm not happy anymore you know i want to go off on my own or if you're living with friends or family you're like you know i've had enough <laughs> i need to go off on my own so big energy of becoming independent out of a situation here yeah ace of scrolls so this is the ace of swords so this is having major truth and clarity, enlightenment that I spoke of and knowing exactly what you want, which will lead to a brand new beginning for you, being feeling very happy, successful, major enlightenment here, healing, um, cutting ties that are no longer serving you, energy no longer serving you, telling it like it is, not backing down, sending, you know, you'll be getting keys to a new home, your own home, your, you know, your own space. You know, sending letters or documents or whatever here. Like finding that loophole and drawing up new paperwork, you know. Sending the news out, emails, text, the bird there. Going off on your own new beginning here. Very successful. What else here for your situation? And I just said successful. Here comes the six of wands. Success, victory. Feeling fired up and passionate. Going off on a solo journey, I feel. For Virgo. Yeah. Ace of Stones. So some of you here may be starting a new, going off on your own and starting your own business, starting your own uh, branch, your own whatever here. You're having your own office space. Ace of Stones, a brand new beginning. Two brand new beginnings here with the Ace of Scrolls, Ace of Stones. Definitely knowing what you want. Cutting the ties that are no longer serving you. Standing up, not backing down. Having enlightenment and clarity. Um, epiphanies to lead to your success and some it's a brand new beginning for yourself work career finance to stable new beginning for the long term which will bring in much, much growth and abundance for you so how you know different messages here so however this resonates for you wow so we have the six of scrolls six of swords so this is about moving to a better place so we've got two six three sixes major healing and balance coming in under Libra, which is justice. So six of scrolls here is six of swords. So leaving the past, whatever's no longer serving you, leaving that behind and moving forward again to a better place of peace, harmony, and balance and clarity. And nine of wands energy is not giving up and not fighting and not giving up and keep fighting for what you want. Not giving up, getting what you want in the end and being victorious, fiery, passionate energy here. Not to give up. Fight for what you want. You are going to a better place of success and victory. Having listened to your intuition and your and your thoughts and that clarity and enlightenment that you have because you'll be much more stable. Which Whatever new beginning you're making for yourself, whatever unhappiness is, is, is here, you know, again, whether it's friend living with friends and family, with a lover or a 
somebody you're not happy with anymore or being in a business where you're, you know, under contract working for others or in a corporation or something here, you're going solo in some way, shape or form and it'll be all the more better for it. Wow. Ace of Swords there is my Divine Clarity card. It's my Divine Intervention. All right, so... Ooh, so let's get some advice and guidance for you. Advice, guidance for you. The hangman. So look at every uh, Pisces here. Look at every perspective. Gaining new perspective. You know, look at the bigger picture. Um, this is, again, about enlightenment and seeing things differently. Gaining new perspectives. You know, taking time back and, you know, not taking action. You know, when you feel like you need to withdraw and pull back your energy, do that. And, you know, it's the wise owl there. So wisdom with the elephant and wisdom with the owl. So be wise about this as you're moving forward. Seven of Stones, again, analyzing, assessing, patiently waiting for the right time. So an analyzing, assessing this whole situation, moving forward. You know, getting out of this, moving forward, whatever you're doing here. Make sure you're analyzing, assessing, reviewing everything and having patience and waiting for the right time. And don't rush. All right, so what else here for your advice? The Five of Stones, Five of Pentacles. So that's an energy of feeling abandoned, lonely, left out in the cold, neglected. We have the Page of Wands in reverse. So... You know, the page of wands uh, upright can talk about, you know, good news coming in, exciting, passionate communication, messages, but this is about not communicating. So I feel like, I feel like if you, you know, send a message out before it's time or you communicate before it's time or something here. It may backfire here with the Five of Pentacle energy because um, it's about being abandoned, lonely, left out in the cold. You may actually get kicked out of a situation. <laughs> so I think to avoid that, you know, you need to patiently wait and be wise about this moving forward and don't say or do anything uh, like in the heat of the moment either. You know, to avoid um, being like kicked out or... You know, something like that. You may lose money too. So be smart and wise about this and refrain from saying things or doing things uh, in the heat of the moment or something like that. All right. So cool. let's see. Virgo, which a possible outcome for you. Two of stones. So again, you know, treading lightly here. Treading lightly. Balance your, out your energies. Don't do anything out of haste. Don't do anything uh, that you don't feel is safe or secure. Testing, testing first, you know, before you take that step. All right, so what else? Death. So this is letting, like, things end naturally. Um, but again, things something will end here. Something will end, and then there will be transformation and transcendence. But tread lightly. Test the waters. Test that step before you take it. Don't just rush. It's about taking your time. All right. So what else here for death? Uh, for death. Oh, my gosh. That's Scorpio. For Virgo. For your possible outcome. Oh, my God. Now the Ace of Wands. Three Aces here. So whatever you're moving, whatever you're doing, it will come to an end. And you have three new beginnings here. Having that clarity knowing exactly what you're doing, stability and fire, passionate, exciting times ahead, something new, creative, I don't know, whatever here. If this isn't, you know, going off on your own in a solo journey in, you know, work, career, finance, it's here for you with the Ace of Spirals. It'll be very exciting, fiery, passionate, idea, creative, new beginning. Things will transform and then you will have your new beginning. Endings, new beginnings, three new beginnings here. Take your time and tread lightly and don't rush. Wow. So 
what is on the bottom here. So the devil. So this could be Capricorn, toxic or energy or fear, doubt, low self-esteem. But fearing maybe that what is meant for you with the Two of Cups energy may not come for you. What you feel like is your destiny, what your true calling is, what you really need to make in changes in your life. Fearing, doubting, low self-esteem, that will come. But the two of mirrors is, is telling you whatever is aligned for you, your soul, your life is coming for you. Seven of scrolls, so you may not see it. Um, you may think it's not going to come. Again, um, it can be self-deceit, self-lies. You're telling yourself. But we do have the emperor here. So somebody here, it could be Aries, emperor, empress, being your own boss, being, you know, taking control of your life, going and doing what's best for you and strength leo energy here being strong courageous and brave taming in the beast the fear the doubt from within willpower determination the uh stamina to keep going balancing out your energy sagittarius here or temperance that what is coming for you is meant to be um bringing that into your life for you to have patience balance healing optimism joy happiness kind of energy here so that's what I see. You have all that growth and abundance with the sunflower there to stay steady on your path, to stay in control of your feelings, your emotions, your energies moving forward. You know, don't lie. Tell, sell your, don't sell yourself short is what I'm feeling either with the devil and the seven of um, uh, sword energy because whatever is aligned for you in your life is coming for you with the two of cups energy. Total alignment in your life what's meant to be wow okay virgo i feel heavy energy of going solo in some way shape or form is coming for you if you're you know finally buying your own home and moving out of your friend's house or your sister's house your brother's house or leaving that you know lover that you're no longer happy with or maybe getting divorced or leaving that company that job that you know cooperation that you're no longer no longer happy with and going and starting your own services on your own or whatever this is for you you're going solo and you have all good energy coming your way not to have doubt or fear tread lightly don't rush take your time get all the advice guidance review paperwork carefully that you need to all right so how are this resonates for you okay so let's get some closing messages for you for you Virgo, Virgo, closing messages for Virgo. Huh, I can't make it up. Be courageous. Eight, taking action, taking control, movement, traveling. Be courageous and brave and don't give up on this solo journey. And there's a wa waving the flag of victory, which we had here with the six of wands, with the flags waving in the wind for victory. Thank God, 55. So double five there is major, major changes and challenges. So be thankful, be grateful. When you get to your destined path, your ships are coming in. You've sent the signal out to the universe and you're praying for this major change and it's coming, it's coming. So be thankful, grateful on your path. Rise and shine, 56, 11, being on the right path. And that would be two. Again, like we saw the two of cups, unities, partnerships, what's coming, what's meant for you, coming aligned for you, that's meant to be. Rise and shine. So keep rising every day. Don't give up and do what you need to do. Moving forward, don't give up. Talk to God. So 11, again, being on the right path, the right spiritual path or the right path in general. And 11, two, again, with the partnership unity. So if you need to pray, meditate, or do whatever you do here to help, to guide you, whatever here, it's telling you to do more of that. Virgo, wow. Okay, Virgo, tell the universe exactly what you want, how you want to do it. Ask for help, guidance, signs, or whatever here, and they'll show them to you. Okay, Virgo, <laughs> best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.